In this video, we want to check if the user is entering a blank name. In the previous one, we checked if it's an empty name, but there's a difference. Let me run and show you what I mean. So if the user types in an empty string, we get we check for that. That's the empty one. But if we type in space or tabs from the keyboard, it's actually accepting that. So that's not what we want. We want to check for blank entry as well. And so to do that, I've got the steps here. To remove all white spaces, we can use the remove if to remove all the spaces to the end of the string. So after we've read the string from the user, we can say remove if based on a condition. Oh, uh, let me write it correctly. So we'll, based on a condition, we check the name from the beginning until the end. Mm, hold on until the end for potential spaces, if there is a space. Okay. Um, so what this will do, this whole call to this function, it will return an iterator pointing to the new end of the range. So this will move all the spaces to the end of the string and it will return an iterator, it will point to that uh, pointing to the end to the new end of the of the range so this will be the 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 um, one of the calls arguments to the next step which is then erase all the spaces from the string and um, this will be using name dot erase and yeah I thought that would happen dot erase and this will take two parameters the first action will actually be the beginning and the end will be name dot end that's it so what we want to do is we want to remove the blanks before we go into the while loop and once we are in the while loop we want to check for, we want to remove the blanks or the white spaces and for here white spaces means a space or it could also be a tab Let's compile. All right, so I have a problem. Okay, I forgot to say that we need to include this algorithm header. It's in my comments, but I forgot to apply it. That's why I wrote it down. And the um, e space. So let's see. Okay, I've got a problem here. Um, begin and name dot end. I've got. That's it. Yeah. An extra bracket there. And another one here because it's pretty much the same mistake being replicated. All right, it's good now. Let's run it. Okay. So new lines is this is this is empty. Tab spaces is also now considered not happy. Even one space, it's not happy with it. One tab is not happy, but if I'm putting anything else, it's happy with it. That's it. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.